A visual novel is a story where the player controls the storyline. In this video, we'll look at how to compose a story tree. By default, a story tree is a path with an entry point and an exit point. The creator's job, your job, is to create and place scenes along this path in order to tell a story. On the right is the component bar. I'm going to take a scene and drop it. A scene block has an entry point and an exit point. I connect the entry point to the scene and I connect the scene output to the end of the story. Here we have an ultra simplified story tree, a beginning, a scene and an ending. I add a new scene. The tree now contains two scenes. A scene can have one or more endings. If a scene contains two endings, then we have two exit inks. I connect a new scene to the second output. This new scene can also lead to several branches, and so on, creating an increasingly complex scenario with more and more branches and scenes. When a component is selected, an action bar appears. You can delete it, you can duplicate a block, you can rotate it, you can open the scene to modify it, and you can launch the game from the block to test it. If you're comfortable with the editor, and if your story starts to get complex, you can unlock expert mode, and you have access to a new component. The branch component lets you create a story within a story. It allows you to divide your scenario into chapters, subchapters, and so on. I'm opening this new branch. This new branch can in turn contain a complex scenario with multiple paths. For demonstration, I'm going to create two endings. I return to the main story by pressing the back button, and I can integrate it into my story like any other block. And so on, I can divide my scenario into chapters, which in turn can be divided into subchapters. There are no limits. My scenario remains readable. To make it even easier to read, you can name each block. In the top right hand corner, there's a field for naming blocks. Expert mode gives you access to another component, a label component. It lets you add notes anywhere you like. You can color the text, change its size and move it around. We've come to the end of this video. In the next tutorial, we'll take a look at the scene editor. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.